or somebody who is struggling with a chicken wing. So if you don't know what that looks like, it basically refers to this collapsed look from the lead arm through the ball where the elbow stays bent and it kind of disconnects away from the body. I see a lot of golfers trying to fix this by attacking the actual chicken wing itself without understanding that it's actually the byproduct of an issue that happens a lot earlier in the golf swing. So really what happens is the arm is working independently from the body. So the body stalls and the arms keep traveling. And oftentimes that creates that look. You'll see the golfer either like early release the hands or flip everything over. It's not ideal. If we want to make sure that that chicken wing doesn't exist, really what we want to do is we want to make sure that the arms aren't working aggressively inward through the ball without the body rotating. So if I rotate my body and the hand path works inside through impact, I won't actually have that look because the arm and the chest are going to be working in unison together. But if I'm somebody who, for example, and I see this a lot, they get the lead arm way out in front of the body, the club gets steep. Now I have a ball that's on the ground that I need to make contact in. Well, if my hands and arms and club are way out in front of me here, I need to hit this ball. I can't do it by keeping my arms extended and in front of me. I have to yank everything aggressively inward in order to hit that ball. But because I need time to get there, my body's going to stall. You'll see the lead arm completely separate from the body in the follow through. And I'll even provide an example at the end of this video of a golfer who does that. So really what we want to do in this case is we want to try to keep the hands and arms and club a little bit more inside so that now we can actually allow the body to rotate. And as the body rotates, even if the hand path works inward through impact, this lead arm stays a lot more connected to my chest and you won't have this kind of disconnected look actually happening. So you'll see here what I'm referring to basically in the example of the explanation where the hand path just gets way too far out in front of the golfer. The club gets very, very steep and the face angle gets open. And the combination of these three things makes it very difficult because now the golfer has to find a way to try to compensate for this to get back to the ball. So what you'll see is he will stall the body, very little rotation of the body happening, and yank the arms really inward through impact in order to hit the ball, kind of what I had explained in the visual. And that is what actually leads to this. So if the body was rotating, you wouldn't see that chicken wing.